Hi, I'm Jessica Jewell. In previous videos in this series, we've given you tours of the historic buildings on main campus. In this one, we will take you on a journey through the proud history of East Carolina sports. In the fall, East Carolina will be celebrating two important sports anniversaries, the 50th anniversary of Dowdy Ficklin Stadium and the 100th year of organized athletics on campus. ECU sports history began on November 10, 1913. East Carolina Teachers Training School, as it was known then, had two sports fields with 10 tennis courts and two basketball courts. One field stood about where the Bait and Graham buildings are now, and the other was near the present site of the Ladonia Wright Center. From the beginning, basketball was the most popular sport. The first big sporting event on campus was the basketball championship in May of 1914, when the seniors beat the juniors by a score of 10 to 2. East Carolina Athletics moved indoors in 1923 with the opening of the Social Religious Building, or what we know today as Wright Auditorium. Back then, Wright had a flat floor with balconies all around. This is where students had gym classes and where basketball games were held until 1949. Football came to East Carolina in 1932 after the school actively recruited male students to balance the formerly all-female student body. The first football games were played about where I'm standing on the mall on the 5th Street side of main campus. Things didn't go well that first year for the teachers, as they were called. They lost all five games it played and failed to score a single touchdown. It wasn't until late in the next seasons when East Carolina won its first football game, beating Campbell by 6 to nothing on November 11, 1933. In 1934, the students voted to change the name Teachers to something a little more threatening. Playing as the Pirates seemed to help, especially after a new coach, John Christenberry, arrived in 1940. The next year, the Pirates were undefeated and football fever struck the campus. In the 1950s, this part of campus became the center of sports. Within a few years, the school would build a new gym. Beside it, a regulation baseball field and tennis courts were added. And just beyond the baseball field, East Carolina's first real football stadium opened in 1949. Holding only 2,000 fans, the first game at College Stadium was played on September 21, 1949, with ECTC taking on the Cherry Point Marines. With College Stadium in place, ECTC turned its attention to basketball, and the result is what is known now as Christenberry Memorial Gym. Opening in 1952, the new gym had an Olympic-sized pool and a basketball arena above, seating 2,400. The first big-time basketball game in the new gym came in late 1952 when Frank McGuire's North Carolina Tar Heels came to town and took a 79-66 win over the Pirates. In the mid-50s, the school built a new baseball diamond behind Chris and Barry Gym. Playing on the new field, the team won back-to-back -back conference championships. After winning its conference in 1961, East Carolina was invited to the NAIA Baseball Tournament and came home the national champion, defeating Sacramento State. Because of the school's eventual growth, College Stadium needed to be replaced. Turning to the Greenville business community for support, in October 1961, East Carolina President Leo Jenkins asked Pepsi bottler Jack Menges and insurance executive W.M. Scales to raise money for a new stadium. Using that money, Jenkins bought land and construction on the new stadium began in May 1962. It was named for James Ficklin, who was a leader of the Greenville business community. He had started the Ficklin Foundation that had sponsored scholarships for East Carolina students since the early 1950s. Beside it rose a building with locker rooms and training facilities, Scales Fieldhouse. With 16,000 seats, Ficklin Stadium was eight times bigger than the facility it replaced. It hosted its first game 50 years ago on September 21, 1963. A capacity crowd jammed the stadium that night to see East Carolina upset Brian Piccolo and Wake Forest College by a score of 20 to 10. In 1966, East Carolina cut the ribbon on the most expensive sports facility in its history up to then. A $2.5 million natatorium and basketball arena that would be named Minji's Coliseum. 
The basketball arena held 6,000 seats. Its natatorium became one of only 11 sites sanctioned by the AAU to hold swimming and diving meets. Minji's expanded to 8,000 in 1994 thanks to the generosity of Greenville businessman Walter Williams. Ficklin Stadium grew to 47,700 seats in 1994 through a $1 million gift from alumni Ron and Mary Ellen Dowdy. After that expansion, it was renamed Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. The next phase of expansion came in 2011 when the Boneyard student section was added in a horseshoe behind the east end zone. I hope you come back to campus for homecoming to join us as we celebrate 100 years of pirate sports. And join us on our next walking tour of campus when we jump over to the Health Sciences campus to tell you the proud story of ECU's medical school. I'm Jessica Jewell. Thanks for watching.